Hello tribe, how are y'all doing? What is going on this Saturday night? What are y'all doing? I am chilling. Hope y'all enjoyed your day. I did the same. I have another message for us. So let me go ahead and um, invite the Holy Spirit and our ancestors and we'll get started. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now, God. You are welcome. Emmanuel, God with us, Yahweh. We welcome your presence. Ancestors of the pure and divine white lights, we welcome your presence. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, keeping us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Thank you for your provision in every area of our life. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for leading and guiding and directing our path. We give your name praise, glory, and honor. We love you, Lord. We thank you for loving us. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your children. Tell us what we need to know. Show us what we need to see and be aware of in this season. We love you. We honor you. We reverence you. You are sovereign. You are holy. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I truly appreciate you all very, very much. If you are new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. We're so glad to have you here a part of our Starseed tribe and community. And if you are returning, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right, so let me go ahead and get into the message. Um, this message is, is for a divine feminine. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. God know who he's trying to reach. I don't. I am just here being obedient, giving us the messages. All right, so this is this message is for you, Divine Feminine. Um, there is uh, two suitors. One of them is your twin flame, and this other one is a soulmate, um, a higher level soulmate that you could have met after you and your twin flame separated. Well, both of these people are watching you. Um, they are investigating, like they're Inspector Gadget or somebody. They are um, trying to find some clues, trying to see what you're doing, who you're doing it with, what you got going on. And so <clears throat> I'm getting that these two people have been watching you for a while and they feel ashamed. They feel like they didn't grow and you have grown, you have um healed you have evolved you have transformed and you're operating in your purpose everything is aligning up in your favor you're in alignment with the will of god for your life and they have been watching this um so you were dealing with this your twin flame soulmates they got caught up with a karmic and you know caused you all the separation then you met somebody else after this, after your twin flame, and you were, you know, dealing with this person, talking to them, but they were still had feelings for a karmic that they was dealing with as well, and thought that this person had changed, that they had given their life over to God, and, you know, they were on their spiritual path and all of that, and you told this person that this person is fooling you. They just don't want you to move forward with somebody new. They um, know that they messed up the relationship with you and you were a good man to them. And you were providing for them, taking care of them, protecting them, and they messed up the relationship. So they're not, now they're trying to get your attention and, you know, like they're on a spiritual path. But God was telling you to tell this person that they're still a demon behind their mask. This person is still a narcissist. They don't have no good intentions for you. It's to slow you down. And pretty much this person is um, jealous of you and they're mad because you have, <clears throat> you're blessed and successful and they want a part of that. Again, they don't want anybody else to have it. So, but this person didn't listen. They didn't listen to what God was telling you to tell them. So they went on about their business and you let them go on back to the karmic. And so now everything has fell apart for both of these situations. And now they're seeing you 
and both of them are saying that they made a mistake. They have gotten caught up in lies and drama with somebody, karmics acting crazy, um, that they were trying to treat right, but they're seeing now that you're the one that they should have stayed with and treated right. So now that you're unbothered, still doing you, still, you know, making your money, running your business, you know, doing what you got to do. If you have a career, um, still looking good, smelling good, eating good, you know, just unbothered. Now these two are watching you on social media, trying to figure out what you have going on and who you have it going on with. So this per these two people, they're trying to hold on to you. They wish they would have held on to you and not let go of you for this karmic gold diggers that they went back to. They're they're no longer in a heart fog. They at first they was, you know, uh cloudy about <clears throat> their judgment was cloudy about you and if you you know was the right one or if they could prosper with you or whatever you know they was giving a lot of mixed signals and um you know their emotions was was blocked so now they're they're seeing that they um they messed up big time because you were the blessing that god has sent to both of these people um and they wishing that they're wishing that they would have held on to you but now they're just, you know, obsessing and spying on you. Like, you know, every time you post something, they're looking and watching, you know, not really um, liking the pictures or anything like that, but just watching. And so they're no longer giving to this, these karmic gold diggers that they went towards. They have ended that. Like it's over, like put an end to it, a death to it. And so they're realizing that they did not follow their intuition. And they went towards somebody that they didn't have clarity about. And so all of this, they have all of these feelings for you now, all of this hot passion, fiery energy. And they're seeing that um, these karmics that they went towards did not want them to move forwards that they were still operating in this devil energy, um, being dangerous, you know, just being real uh, ratchet, you know, constantly cussing them out and just not a divine feminine at all. And that these people actually betrayed them. And so... <clears throat> So everything happened that you told them that was going to happen. So now they're looking at divine feminine. And um, so they're realizing that you're the blessing the whole time. You're the one that was solid, abundant. You're the gift from God. You're the one that has it going on. Your career is popping. Your business is popping. You're manifesting like crazy. Everything is coming to fruition for you. <clears throat> and you have a lot of um, material prosperity as well. And you could be a, a reader. Or this person went and got a reading done to um, see who you really were. And this reader is telling them the truth. Telling them that they were operating in their shadow self when they were dealing with you in a very, um, you know, on their dark side, a very unhealthy ego. They were operating in greed and selfishness, pride being very prideful, overindulging in um, desires and control, craving control and power instead of, you know, facing their trauma, whatever. So this reader was telling them that they go after women who make them feel more powerful. Like they don't, excuse me. So God sent you as a blessing. You were already established when you met these two people. You already, you know, was popping in your career, your business or whatever. And they were seeing you progress 
And so they had prayed and, you know, because they had been dealing with karmic energies before that didn't, the relationship didn't last. And so they keep repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. So when God sent you as a blessing into their lives, they were intimidated by your energy and, you know, thought that they was, it was some type of competition, but you didn't, you know, see them like that as at all. You're just, you know, somebody that want to have nice things, want to live good, want to look good, want to eat good, want to travel good, whatever. But they were looking at you as like, what can I give this person? Like they already got money. They already, you know, got their own crib. They only got, they already got their own car or cars. Um, they already fully furnished, you know, they're all ready paying all of their bills. Like, what am I going to be able to, to do for this person? So, you know, men equate their value by how much money they have. And so they were like, you were like different than what they were used to. Cause all the other women they were used to taking care of, you know, um, you know, spending all their money on them you know, paying their bills or whatever and still getting cheated on. And so when they prayed and asked God for something different, something, a blessing, God sent you and you were not, you, you're not, you're not what they're used to. So they didn't know what to do or how to handle the situation. So this reader is telling them that God sent you as a blessing so that you all could grow and build together and invest together two incomes is better than one coming in you know investing in business you know um, stock market um, you know whatever to make the money grow more businesses and but since you were they felt like these people these two people they were still operating in from their ego self and not in their heart chakra. And so they felt like, you know, they didn't want you to be superior or they wanted to be superior over you. But God is like, that is not how this works. If you want to be prosperous and if you want to grow and if you want somebody who really love you, not for just, just what you have or what you can do for them. Um, God was trying to teach them that if you give a woman that has their mind right and their heart right, a safe space and love and, you know, great communication and just faithfulness, they will do, they will make it grow. Like the, the divine feminine, everything came from the divine feminine. You give them the seed and they will make it into something they will grow it they will manifest something from it so the creativity and the intuition comes from the woman so if you give them a safe space of love and um you know a happy household joy happiness peace faithfulness you know give them that security that they don't have to worry about anything or worry about you dealing with other women or worrying about you being tempted by other women, just knowing that you are all in, you're for them and nobody else, then you can grow and prosper with this, this woman because she will be at peace and in harmony and in balance and in alignment. And the creativity from her will flow and whatever seed, whatever idea you bring to her, she will make it happen. And so they didn't really understand that concept. So they pushed you away and went after karmic energies again because that was what they were used to because they were still operating in their ego and not and wanted to be, you know, superior, wanting to be needed instead of wanted. And so they didn't feel like you needed them for anything, but you needed them for love and support, um, compassion, you know, peace, harmony, 
um, and but they didn't they could they didn't see it like that. So they end up going back towards uh, karmic energies. And now what you told them happened, everything fell apart. And so this reader is telling them, told them this, that they need to stop operating out of their shadow self. They need to heal. They need to do their shadow work. They need to ground themselves so they can grow, have self-growth, seek advice, um, address unhealed issues, and face their trauma. Excuse me. And so they're getting a reality check because a lot of them, um, you know, were thinking that God was going to send them somebody just like them. But God was really trying to get them to see that you need to heal. You need to get out of your ego. You need to grow up. You need to understand um, who you are so you can operate in your higher self, the highest, the best version of your higher self. And so this is what God was trying to show them, but they thought God was going to send them somebody like them or like what they like or into what they're into. And this person could be, um, you know, somebody who like, I'm, I'm kind of getting that, that song. I don't know who sang it. Um, it's called, I like, you no, know, in the song they say, I like bad bees. I got an effing problem. I don't know who's saying that. I think it's Young Jeezy or I don't know one of them. I think it's a, uh, one of the Atlanta rappers. But so they was thinking that God was gonna send them that, and so that was all they was really used to dealing with. And so you no, know, God is gonna send you a a divine feminine that is spiritual. Um. So that you can get on your right track and your right path. So they're having a, a reality check. Um, because a lot has been exposed about these karmics that they were dealing with and also exposed about themselves. And so this is why they were constantly holding on to the past and closed off and not ready Um, they didn't see you as equal because of because of um, unhealed wounds. So that that caused them to make the wrong choice when it came to you. And so this reader is pretty much you know breaking down to them that you can still be successful with a successful woman. You can still operate as a king with a queen. But they were used to dealing with opportunists. And they was never going to grow like that. And never going to, um, you know, operate from the 5D. Never going to have unity and un unconditional love, oneness, truth, and evolve. Be intuitive, connected, grounded co-creating, divinely guided and on a high frequency and that their heart chakra was, you know, out of balance because they were operating cold towards you, operating towards you with jealousy because they were, you know, wanting you to be codependent, but you were not codependent on them. You're codependent on God. He is your source. And whatever they bring to the table is just, you know, enhances what God is already blessing you with. And that's fine. God don't want us to be depending on each other for, you know, saying the source and not saying that he don't expect a man to provide for you. But he wants both of you to know and understand that he is your source. And so you don't worship your husband or your boyfriend. You worship God because he's the ultimate provider 
for your husband or your boyfriend. But both of y'all have that understanding on the same page. And so that's what he was trying to get these two um, divine masculines to understand. Your um, your twin flame soulmate and this other higher soulmate, higher level soulmate that he had sent after you and your divine partner um, separated. So these two people, they're seeing that, these two masculines, they're seeing that they don't want this love-hate type of relationship with you as they had when they um, when they first met you. Like, you know, I love you, but you're doing better than me, so I kind of, I'm slick hating on you also. They don't want that. They want it to be all love now. And this person wants to talk to you, or these two people, they want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. You may have had have this person blocked on your phone, or these two people blocked. They want you to unblock them so you all can talk. They are, um, they want to talk about this um, toxic lifestyle that they were living and expecting you to be. So, you know, in the conversation, they're saying that they don't, you know, they just want to talk to you. They know that some of you may be mad at them, you know, angry or whatever. Um, they want to hear everything you have to say. They want to hear everything you're feeling. They want you to, you know, don't hold back on them. Tell them the truth. Tell them exactly, you know, what you're feeling or whatever. And there's some songs that I, uh, that came on when, when I was receiving this message. And so everything happens for a reason. Nothing is happening by coincidence. So I will um, post the songs in the description box so you can see. Um, so you can listen to the songs when you get a chance and you'll, you know, probably understand this message better or what this person is trying to say to you or want to say to you or want you to say to them. So... So, yeah, so this person is, you know, they're realizing that they were a jackass for bumping heads with you and running away from you. And so, yeah, it looks like they have gotten a reading or gotten some type of uh, information from an elder, a wise counselor from, from somebody that was telling them why, you know, things didn't work out between you and them. And that God had sent you as the blessing, but they didn't receive it. They didn't understand it. And so this person is, um, they're feeling like a jackass. Both of these people are feeling like a jackass for bumping heads for, with you. And seeing now that they were just going round and round, complete, you know, with the same cycles, same triggers, having to learn the same lesson over and over again. And they're tired of feeling like, S-H-I-T. Oh, this person really, really feels like that. Feels like S-H-I-T. And so this person sees you as, um, they see you now as heaven. Like, they're like, I want to go to heaven. And they see you, the divine feminine, as being their heaven. Now that they have this understanding about who you are and why God sent you into their experience as their blessing. And this person, they thought, they could have thought that you being like spiritual was weird at first. Or um, the second person, the higher level soulmate, this person could have known that you was very spiritual, but they wasn't, they couldn't see you as a leader because you know how the religion is especially in christianity um, it's gotten a lot better but they don't really see women as leaders as spiritual leaders um but god don't care nothing about that because he ain't religion he's not religious so now they're accepting you as this spiritual leader you could be a you know like a shaman type of um a leader but they're seeing you as that and like and they're like you know if god have called you to be this if god has you know given you spiritual gifts and he is using those gifts to um 
hope his his children, you know, wake up and understand who they are, then they get it. You know what I'm saying? Because they're seeing you as this spiritual leader now because everything that you told them that was going to happen with these karmics that they went towards, it happened. And everything fell apart just as you said. And this is what God was giving you to tell them. So now they see you as this spiritual leader that you operated you operate in the prophetic or you have, you know, psychic abilities, that you have spiritual gifts that are on points and they have no other choice but to accept it because it is what it is. Because God told you what to tell them, you told them and exactly what you told them happened, but they didn't believe you. And, you know, because they have not had not dealt with anybody like you that was operating in, you know, spiritual gifts, you know, like that. And then, you know, see women on that type of level or that type of time or whatever. But now this person knows that you, these two people, they know that you are a spiritual leader. It is what it is. And so they are, they want to um, establish a foundation with you, a family. And, um, you know, build these roots with you. They see you as a a firm foundation to build on. And this person wants to be that engineer in your, well, these two people, I keep saying person, but it's only you only going to be able to choose one of them. So, you know, if you choose any of them. So this person or these, these two people, they want to be this engineer in your life. They want to be the problem solver um, for you while you're doing your spiritual work for God and they're you know willing to give you this established foundation to build with you to grow with you to to love you to learn with you to invest in you and invest with you this person is like I'm ready now I see it they are the architect of solutions they want to be the architect of solutions to you um problem solving all of the problems that you may have so that you can, you know, have that time to be who you, who God has called you to be, your purpose. And so they have, this is why they have been um, pretty much acting like detectives on your social media accounts, trying to um, find some clues Because they want to uh, pursue you now, but they're trying to see if you're dealing with somebody else, if they have, you know, totally lost the blessing because they didn't understand why God has sent you into their life. So they're seeing, they're trying to see if you have, you know, another king operating in your life, giving you everything that they should have given you, you know, when you were, when God had sent them into your life, but they didn't didn't understand the assignment at that time because they were still operating in their ego and hadn't addressed um, unhealed issues and faced their trauma. So now they're they're trying to see if um, if you have a king <clears throat> in your life giving you this that um, God had given them the the blessing the opportunity to have. And so they're both seeing that they were operating in this distorted masculine energy. They were not operating as a divine masculine when they came into your experience, when you met them. And they're seeing that they did not, they was not listening to their ancestors or their spirit guides. And both of these, these um, masculines, they are star seed chosen ones, but they was just not on their right path at the time when you met them. And so now they see, you know, everything clearly, everything has come to light for them. And they see that they were not ever meant to be with, to be um, a family or building, establishing a, a foundation or committing to karmic feminine energies. And they regret it. Because now they have the clarity and they no longer want to deal with third parties or um, karmic feminists. They know that they don't have any contracts with them. 
or the contract is over now. And so they also realize that they're never going to be abundant. They were never going to be abundant, um, you know, dealing with karmic energies that were, um, they were pretty much unequally yoked with. And they, they was only choosing these people because it was kind of like a, a trauma bond type of situation ship. Um, you know, that's all it is when you don't want to heal and the other person don't want to heal. So y'all keep trying to deal with each other and it's toxic. And um, so they have realized this, that they were never going to be <clears throat> abundant <clears throat> like God wanted them to be or had called them to be. And so they're telling these, um, have told these karmic energies that they they got to, you know, cut this out. They, they, they don't walk away from the situation. They can no longer give to them. It's dead, you know, dealing with these karmic um, gold digger type of energies that they want them to move forward in life just want them to stay stuck with them like crabs in a bucket but they have a purpose and God has a plan for their life and so this is very shocking news to these karmics they're really shocked that this sudden change um this is shocking news to them that this person is these people are letting them go so they can transform and that they will not be proposing to them they would not be marrying them because this is not real love it's not real unconditional unconditional love it's not an equal give and take it's not fair it's that there's no fairness in the love and their affection is not being returned so so yeah so they realized that they were not happy this is not their paradise they wasn't experiencing no happiness in these karmic relationships, no joy, no enjoying each other. It was nothing like that, what they experienced from you, with you. And so everything has fell apart. They have learned their lessons with these third parties, learned a major life lesson that they needed to learn. So now they're trying to scope out and see what you're doing to see if you're available if they can come and try to get back in their spot um they want to spin the block pretty much realize that you're the divine feminine that you are the one that they can grow and prosper with and have happiness and success abundance of joy be playful with be in that honeymoon phase and just enjoying each other <clears throat> and carrying out your purposes together. All right, star seeds, divine feminines, that is the message. So you all about to have a lot of suitors coming coming at you and also new love new lovers as well. So you done been through enough of this um <laughs> twin flame journey and <clears throat> these um divine masculines not being not so no not so divine masculines um new love so you know when they come and if they um if they tapped in or not if they done learn their lessons if they're not operating in their ego or not you're gonna know so this is uh the the time summer season god said he's bringing he's bringing you the love of your, of your life and so you gonna have a whole bunch of options to choose from. You might didn't have any options in the past because you wasn't settling for less than you deserve with these not so divine masculines acting like karmic masculines. So, but now you got all the options. They are coming. Spinning the block and new love coming in at the same time. So you all got some decisions to make. All right, so but in all things seek god first before you deal with people places and things that is the message star seeds i love you god loves you love and light treat yourselves and others right i will talk to you soon peace be with you enjoy your weekend